Forgive me, Great Grandma. I know, I'm giving Norman Bates vibes right now, right? You might be wondering, why in the world am I saving and now wearing some old lady's nightgown? It's a long story, but I'll try to give you the short version. First of all, it's not just any old lady's nightgown. It belonged to my great grandma Lise, AKA Gammy. I'm the youngest person in the whole family who ever got to meet her. My dad was definitely her favorite grandchild out of the eight, and so anything connected to Gammy is also a connection to dad. Based on this nightgown, Gammy was a very petite lady, probably around five foot two. I haven't been five foot two since probably around fourth or fifth grade, which is just around the time that I probably begged my mom to let me have Gammy's nightgown. I loved history and I loved fancy, and this thing seemed very fancy and historical. It even has a little bonus robe piece. I think I continued to wear it even as I got older and taller because I thought it was so cool and creepy at the same time. I had it in my head that this was the nightgown she was wearing on the night she died. In truth, it probably wasn't. Anyhow, long after I outgrew the nightgown, I continued to save it for historical reasons. It's a piece of history. Maybe someday it'll go into a museum. I think we all know that this museum is never going to manifest. On the off chance that there is a Dr. Kim museum someday, they might put my book, the issues are in the tissues in the museum, or they might put my book, the daily nugget into the museum, or even my book, Liver Lover. They might put this shirt into the museum, and they definitely might put this shirt into the museum, but they're not going to put Gammy's nightgown into the museum. When I die, no one will even know what this thing is. They'll wonder if I was some kind of Norman Bates cross-dressing serial killer. As for passing it on to some petite female family member who might be able to use it, there may be lots of ladies in my family, but they are not petite. I think Gammy was the last one. Most of my female relatives on that side of the family are at or above 5'10". Nobody wants Gammy's tiny nightgown. Someone else in the challenge donated some old fancy clothes to a high school drama department. I think that's a great idea. And it looks like Gammy's nightgown's next phase of life is going to be on the stage.